So hey my tater tots, welcome or welcome back to yet another video. As you can see by the title and the thumbnail, we have yet another wig video today. This video is in partnership with AF Sister Wig and right there, I was just kind of showing you guys the wig itself and some of the goodies that came with the wig. But the difference between this video and some of my other wig videos is I'm going to be showing you guys the difference between three different types of lace. I'm going to show you guys first what the medium brown lace looks like what the transparent lace looks like and what Swiss, Swiss lace looks like on myself and kind of describe each one and which one will be best for you possibly. As you can see there, I'm just putting the lace samples on my arm just to kind of show you the melt of each one. I'm just spraying them with got to be spray just to keep it very simple and I am going over it with my blow dryer just to help speed up the drying process. But once those are all on my arm, I'm going to show each one. You're going to see how they all blend on my skin and that'll probably help you determine a little bit of what would be best for you. As you can see, I have all of the lace samples on my arm now. The first one I'm pointing to is the medium brown lace. Personally, I will only recommend that lace if you're my complexion or darker, just so it won't be as detectable and it'll melt as best as it can. That one is the thickest, but it's also the most detectable. Now this next one is the transparent lace and more complexions can definitely get away with this one. This is the most common one you see with a lot of wig companies. It's a good quality lace, not as thick thin as the Swiss lace which is that one that I'm pointing to there. The Swiss lace is the thinnest of them all. It's the stretchiest of them all so it's the least detectable on your skin. The Swiss lace is my personal favorite but um yeah the transparent and the Swiss lace are probably two of the best ones if you're looking for a good quality lace. Swiss would definitely be better but transparent if all else fails um and that's pretty much all it is for the different types of samples. This wig that I have on is Swiss lace and you guys are going to see at the end how that all melts into my skin and everything else. But for the rest of this video, I'm just going to be finishing up my install. I am going to be trying to cut some layers into this hair. You guys know I'm not a professional, so they are not the best and they really weren't all that that good. But like I said, this is my first time trying it. I was just trying to try something different and see where my skill set was at for the first time. But yeah, that's pretty much all that's gonna be going on. This is a glueless install also, so I'm just gonna be using my bed head spray and my blow dryer to attach this wig. But yeah, I don't wanna talk throughout the rest of this video. That's pretty much all it is to it. All of the details on this hair will be in the description box down below. And yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna finish up my install.
y'all that is all I have for this video as you can see I finished my install and I still got my little lace samples on my arm so don't really worry about that but I did kind of not even that much I, I definitely messed up on my layers I'm trying to play it off I'm gonna go in and just as needed I'm gonna continue to kind of play around with the cutting stuff clearly I'm not a professional I don't even do hair for a living like I don't do hair I just play around with wigs I try new techniques and honestly this wig is staying up for probably like all of not even a week so it's okay but I really do like this hair like I said before this is the Swiss lace that I have all of the information on this wig will be in the description box down below so you can feel free to check that out and yeah I hope y'all enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next one bye y'all